The question is, are Google reviews any good? Now, we have people review our services in the roof repair game, and we've got a few of those, not a lot. But we've got other roofing companies that's got hundreds and thousands of reviews. Now, does it mean that they are really, really good at what they do? Or is the Google review system really broken? Because we as a business get approached by marketers every day, and these marketers guarantee that they will produce positive Google reviews for us that are obviously not genuine. And they can even get rid of bad reviews and only put up good reviews. So if a business has four or five star reviews, then maybe the reviews have been massaged. So the challenge is, who do you trust? And do you trust the Google reviews? Now, I'm not sure about you, but I don't really post much Google reviews. I think in the last year, I've only posted one. And the reason that I posted this particular review was one, I wasn't asked directly for a review. And when I checked out of this particular resort, the system just prompted me to leave a review. So I thought about it and I made the effort and spent the time to put in a genuine review. So what happened in this particular case that prompted me to spend the time and energy to leave a genuine review? So the story is, I was in Bali at a conference and somehow I got my flights mixed up. So the conference finished and I thought I was flying out back here to Sydney, but I got my days wrong. So my flight was the next day. I had no accommodation for one day. Now during my stay, I had struck up a relationship with the manager. So I said to him, mate, I've got a dilemma here. I've got a day where I haven't got any accommodation. And he went, no problems, I'll fix it for you. So he got a bit of paper out and he wrote something and he said, take this to the receptionist and she will book you in for an extra night. You can stay in your own room, no need to move anything. It's all sorted. So I take this bit of paper to the receptionist and she looked at me and she said, let me just check with the manager. Now that was a bit strange because that bit of paper actually came from the manager. So she said, I'll just pencil you in and then we'll confirm it later on. Now the reason I found out later that the receptionist was so puzzled was because that little note that the manager wrote said, give this guy 80% off his accommodation for the night. Now, have you ever got that offer from a resort that you stayed in? So that was tick number one, right? Cheap accommodation, all sorted. But to top it all off, the manager invited me personally to his special holy ceremony to celebrate a phase of the moon. And he offered me his sarong. And during the ceremony, we had food and everything offered to us. That was an experience. So is that worth spending time to do a review? It seems to me that trust is in short supply nowadays, and uh, especially in the roof repair business. And roofing is quite unique in the building industry, simply because it's so remote, and most homeowners got no idea of what their roof looks like because it's so far out of reach. And they have no idea of what a roofer will do when the roofer gets on the roof. So there's an element of trust which is quite important to this relationship between the homeowner and the roofer. And unlike just a, like a kitchen renovation where you could go and check to see what the joiner is doing, whether the appliances work, you can see everything, you can touch everything, and you can make comment, and you can see what is happening. And because you can see everything that's happening in front of your eyes, you don't really have to trust the ability of the installer. So you can see for yourself what's happening and you make your own judgment. Your roof is totally different. You're not up there and you don't know what's happening. So you really have to trust the roofer that does the work on your roof. So how does this trust process work? 
And this is where it usually gets really challenging. And it's a challenge that even someone as good as Google is really struggling with. Because what Google does is it attempts to use its review system to provide user or customer feedback on businesses. But what happens is, as soon as you put a system in place, people game the system. And because of this, just how good is the Google review system? Now for us, asking and accumulating lots of Google reviews is not what we do all the time. We're not that good at it. Uh, so we don't get a lot of reviews. What is a review anyway? How would you read into a review? Now, I had an interesting conversation with a prospect yesterday, and I asked her, how did you find your dad roofer? Because she had this roofer who turned up, did work on their roof, totally unsuccessful, came back three times, and she paid him a lot of money, and no result. The roof still leaks, and she has decided not to go back. She's given up on this roofer. So I asked her, how did you find this roofer? And she said, he had a lot of good reviews. Uh, yeah. How did you find your roofer? Not me, but how did yeah, you find your roofer? I go in Google, go in just Google, and then I saw very good review. But then okay. when I look back after that, after this, but all those reviews were about his punctuality, and then they came, how fast the job is done, but none of them commented about after. Yeah, after service, all his expertise. Correct. Okay. That's when I look back, I say, shit. So is the Google review system totally broken? Clearly, some of these reviews are from genuine users, and they have provided their feedback. But it does take a lot of time and effort to actually post a review. And how can you tell which reviews are genuine and which ones aren't? And how do you judge the quality of the reviews? Now, that is a question that is really hard to answer. And it's not the quantity of the reviews that a particular business has, it's really the quality. If a business has thousands of reviews, how do you find the quality amongst the hundreds and thousands? And that's one of the reasons why I think that the whole review system is broken. The system has been gamed and it's not working all that well. So we're back to first principles now and every homeowner have to do their research to try to find someone who really knows what they're doing. Someone who's trained, has got the right expertise to tackle their roof problem. So now it's not a matter of just counting how many reviews that a business has, it's having to go in and do some homework and try to find out who actually runs those companies, their culture and their attitude towards servicing the homeowner.